Hello guys, welcome to the next video on Java Thread Tutorial for Beginners. In the last video, we have seen how we can create threads by extending thread class. Now in this video, I'm going to show you the other way of creating threads in Java by implementing runnable interface. So let's get started. First of all, I will create one more package in my project. So package and I will name it as lesson 2 and inside this package I'm going to create a class which I will name it as demo itself and this is going to contain main method and first of all let's create a class which implements runnable interface so class I can say this is my class and which implements runnable interface so that's how you can create a class which implements runnable interface. But right now it's giving me this uh, error bulb. So just click this and it will tell you to implement this run method. So just click this. And as we have seen in the last video, when we have extended from the thread class, this run method has to be implemented. In this uh, runnable interface also, this run method have to be implemented right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove all the things and I'm going to go to the last code which I have written inside my run method this is from the last video and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in my run method right so basically we want to do the same thing we want to print this number 10 times and we want to print the ID of the thread and I want to pause this thread by 100 milliseconds right now I'm going to go to my main method here and here I'm going to create a thread so I will instantiate a thread object is equal to new thread and inside this constructor we are going to pass our class object of this uh, my class so just pass it like this and this is going to create the thread object for your class and let's do it one more time so we are going to create two threads and just take t1 here and once again we are going to call a start method on this t1 and t2 also we will call a start method on t2 so here also remember that you don't need to call run directly on your thread object you need to call start method which will start your thread and then it will call your run method here so let's uh, try to run our program I'm going to run it and it has printed the same way as we have seen in the last video so it's printing thread 1 and value 1, thread 1, value 2 and then thread 2, value 1 and then so it's printing in concurrency, right? So this is how you can implement runnable interface to create threads. Now sometimes you want to create a single thread which contains only one method and for that this long class is not required you can create a thread directly in your uh, main class like this so let's see how we can create a thread inside the main class itself without uh, you know creating an extra class so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new package and I will call it lesson 3 and inside this I'm going to create a class and I will call it demo once again and it's going to have main method and in here what we can do is we can just call or create the object of thread and for example t1 is equal to new thread and then just call new runnable and let's close this first and here you can implement your run method like this so you can just 
create your run method inside this uh, runnable constructor and in here you can implement your run method so you can just click this bulb and implement the method and in here you can just call the same code which we are using for uh, printing 10 values and just paste it here okay and then just outside your uh, constructor of your uh, thread you can just call this t1 object dot start okay and it's also going to start a thread so let's run this and now it has printed 10 values using a single thread okay so these are the different ways of creating threads in java i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now